Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! So, we already know about Docker, we learned how to use events and listeners, and we also know how to queue listeners in case we do some heavy processing, like sending an email or making a HTTP call. So, it is time to move away from all that and focus on Eloquent. This video will be the beginning of relationships. We haven't touched everything regarding events, listeners and queues yet, however, we will get back to this in the master course. But right now, you know the most important concepts and of course you know how to apply them in your code. So this video is about the one-to-one -one relationship. To demonstrate how the one-to-one -one relationship works, I will create a new model profile. So in your terminal, PHP artisan, make model profile, dash M. Dash M at the end will also create the migration for the profile model. So, in that migration, we need a foreign key that points to the user's table. Table integer user ID. This is also the database schema to form the one-to-one -one relationship. You just need the user ID to the profile. And because this is a profiles table, we need some additional information for the user. For now, it doesn't really matter, but let's add a city and an about field. So table string city, let's say 64 characters, and also this one will be text about. So let's migrate. And of course, we should have now the profile table here, and we do. So the idea is that I want to create a profile whenever we create a user. So in plain words, a user has one profile and the profile belongs to one user. So the logic of our application doesn't allow the user to have multiple profiles. Also, profiles cannot belong to multiple users. They belong to just one user. So let's work on these two relationships. So close the migrations table, the migrations class, and open the two models, user and profile. Look how easy it is to define relationships with Eloquent. So each relationship is a public function in the model. Let's start with the user model. We said that a user has one profile. So the name of the function, well, to say the truth, it doesn't matter that much, but the perfect name for this function here is simply profile. So make sure you create a public function, profile. Now we simply have to return the relationship inside this function. So return, this has one, and of course, a user has one profile. I don't want to implement the inverse relationship yet, which of course has to be done inside the profile model, because I want to change the registration so we also create a profile whenever we create a user. So let's take a look at the controller. So the controller is the register controller, and as you can see here, whenever we create a new user, we fire the user registered event. So why don't we create a listener to create a profile? Inside the event service provider, I want to create a new listener. Create profile. And of course we have to run PHP artisan event generate. Okay. So inside listeners now, we should have this new listener. Remember that the user registered event, and let me open this, is responsible to pass the user to all the listeners associated for this event. So let's create a profile and assign the profile to the user. So inside the create profile listener, we create a new profile. And for now, I will simply hard code the the data. So my city is Tirana right now, so I will add my information here. Uh, 
OK. Now I will access the user. So using the event, we can access the user. We can also access the profile function, which is the relationship inside the user model. I will call the save function and then pass the profile. OK, so pay attention here. One, a profile has a user ID, and we already know that, right? So you can see here the profile table, it has a user ID. However, I am not saying here something like profile user ID equals to event user ID. No, I do not do this. Also, number two, I am not calling the save method on the profile to save this profile. I don't do this either. So what I do is to simply have this line of code and this line of code will do this for me. So this is a feature that not many people know. This is because most of the developers use Eloquent to just query results in terms of relationships. However, you can also save entries like we have it here, which is very cool and fast. And also, I don't think that this is part of the documentation. I actually found this myself by looking at the Laravel source code. So there you go. You now know something that most of the Laravel developers do not know. So before we test this, let's delete everything in the database so we start from zero. PHP Artisan, migrate, refresh. Now let's register our first user. So I will go to register and let's register a user. Okay, so take a look at the profiles table. If I go to the profiles table, it is already associated with a user that has an ID one. On the users table, we have the newly created user. And we did that by using the relationship, the profile relationship, which is a has one relationship, as you can see here. OK, so now let's use that relationship in order to get the associated profile for the authenticated user. So I want to print the city and the about for the user. What I will do is to open the home blade file. And let's say here you know that we can access the authenticated user like this, auth user. And if I go back to this, you should see the user right here with all that information. However, now we can also have access to the profile relationship. So if I say profile, we can now access the city and the about. So let's try the city first. You can see the city here, Tirana. And if I say about, you should see about me. So as you can see, we can access the profile as a property and not a function. So let me create two paragraphs, one for the about and the other one for the city. Uh, let me change this to city. Let's go back. And you can see the city and the about right here. OK, so question number one that most probably you have. How of the user has access to profile since the relationship is defined inside the user model inside here? So how can we access this relationship by using of user? Well, if I go to home controller and we dd of user, we also have to import of, so use of, you can see that the auth user will return a user model. And this is your answer here. Also, before I close this video, let's understand how relationships work. So I will explain it only once in this video because the same logic applies for all the other relationships. First of all, you should know how joins work in SQL. If you know how joins work in SQL, then you most probably understand how relationships work. So let's start with the users table. So we are authenticated as a user with ID one. 
and we want to access the profile of that user, which we do inside, let me delete this actually, and also this one. So, which we do inside the home blade file. So we access the profile and then we can access city and about, which are the properties for the profile. So again, we are authenticated as user with ID one and we want to access the profile for that user. So when we call profile, what Laravel does is to go inside the profiles table. It will search for a profile that is associated to a user with ID one. So it will find the profile, it will join the two tables and it will return the result. And because of this, you can access city and about, which are properties of profile.